Now, look at what you have here. They expected a pile of dust. It's primitive carbonaceous asteroid to characterize its geologic... Carbonaceous. Carbon. We are carbonaceous beings. Dynamic history to provide context for the return samples. It's doing this to help pick the best site for the sample return part of the mission. Scientists are looking for the most geologically interesting site that can provide the most interesting sample. Spectroscopic surveys have already revealed that there are hydrated material. Oh, you see this right here? <laughs> that's biology. Now, I showed something today that's very, very similar to that. Where do you see it? I did. This is just too or, much. In other words, clays on the surface of Benny. All right. All right, shocked in a whole batch of ways. This is petrified body tissue, and that is a colon, a large intestine. That is the segment-looking things, and that is the split that we just saw this on Benu. I mean, a sim is a rectum. <laughs> That's a rectum. A large intestine. Now, as we go down, you see these Look blocks? This. Those blocks are the way it pushes the poop through your body. Now, this is just a pile of guts. This is your stomach and your large intestine, your small intestines, all of that stuff. But that's where the intestine goes down. It wraps all the way around, and it comes out the other side, and we'll see the small intestines. That's the large intestine, that one that has those lumps in it. Now, this is the small intestine. It's a, a much smoother looking. Uh, uh, you should come up and see this. Now, this is a discovery Tyson made up in Oregon, and I work with Tyson daily. We go back and forth all the time. He's got a fabulous site. He's, he's really working hard at this, and we're being denied to have anybody from the people that should be investigating this look at it. And the same thing has happened with all the, every, every bit of of knowledge that we have brought forward from Mud Fossil University has not been, it, it won't be allowed, let's put it that way. So maybe NASA will look at something. You know, when I say they won't acknowledge facts, I mean these are facts. That is a giant fingertip. That is the fingernail. This piece I broke off, it's three, uh, 30 inches wide, 3 feet long. I smashed this off so that I could get a DNA tested, and I did get a DNA tested, and that, my friends, is the fingerprints. These are the sweat pores in the grip skin fingerprints. If, when I broke this off, it w if I put it back on, it would lay right over the top of there. Now, this is the skin that goes down the side, no fingerprints. When it hits the bottom, there's where your fingerprints are. DNA certified human. Not only that, this one here, which is a smaller one, obviously, that's three feet wide, three feet. This one's quite a bit smaller, but it's another giant. I have a, this is another human, I didn't, also DNA certified. Now, and here's the tests. Now, this is almost five years ago, I had these tests done. And I submitted these to Yale and all the rest of them. Well, they wouldn't take them. They would just refuse to do they, they, uh, Specimens, DNA tests, CAT scans, anatomists, chemistry, didn't matter. Forget about it. And these were good tests. These were, the, you know, and there's three tests on here, and it's all done. So I'm not just screaming in the woods that nobody will pay attention to me. I'm screaming in the woods that nobody will pay attention to the truth. And that is the truth. So it's time for the truth to pay attention to the truth. Because the people that we hired to teach our kids are letting us down miserably. Last word. Okay, I just did a real quick little search on some things I did a while ago. And this is a Comet 67P. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, right. this, this is uh, let me turn this off. P. Now, I did this long ago when they first went out there. This goes back about five years. Now, uh, if you can see right here, that is a bundle of muscle fibers, the pinchy little muscle fibers. This is tendon. Now, I have the same, and this is the, this is it right here. It's a tendon emphasis, and the ball is down here. This comes up to where the leg or whatever it was ran up. I know it sounds crazy, but it is factually true. Uh, and the chemistry was done. This shows about that ball and coming up with the stalk and so forth. Uh, let's see, what else do we do here? Uh, 
All right, this is the one I have here in my shop. These are those little pinchy bundles. You see the pinchy bundles? Now, as it goes along here, this is the this is the tendon stalks. All right, and this is in my shop. I have it. Right, that's right. The one I just picked up. I can't hardly carry. My arms are not that strong. It's very heavy. This is the gluey stuff that glues the tendon to the muscle. Now, I think I went kind of slow here, so let me go out here okay now if you come back here just right here now that's the tendon and they break off just as flat as a pancake and these are the same tendon pieces that are in the pregnant woman stone and the Baalbek stones same stuff nobody cut those and chiseled them they just broke off of giant creatures tendons that's the glue watch this that glue glues the muscle the muscle weaves right in around in a circle just like this into that glue and that glue is tough as hell now watch see this that's the watch it see it isn't that something and this is the muscle fibers, and they run out. And then there's abrupt transition. There's one there, and there's a couple more that show up. And these are the muscle fibers, and there's, it's going in and out of focus as I, I'm running it through here with my little microscope. Now, you'll see a lot of mineralization in the beginning, the white crystals and all that structural stuff. Then it starts to go into muscle. There is your abrupt transition. There's the feeder blood that goes in. There's another abrupt transition right there. 